First off, I would like to take a moment of silence for Trayvon Martin. My name is Shira Love. My name is Tavi Taylor. Okay. And we're and by the way, this is going to be just audio because my phone I'm doing this off of my phone and it's really messing up. But um please, please view this video. Um comment, like, you know, favorite, you okay. know, just share this. Um because um it's gonna reach all over the place like like world star hip hop and other places that's like really like known where other people will yes. put the, state their opinion and really yes. feel what we're talking about. Okay, um my heart goes out to his family, you know. Um when I heard of this crime, you know, it, it was it just made me feel some type of way. I felt like there was something that needed to be done. I felt like I felt like his parents deserve justice. I mean, they've already lost their son. Like, what else can the world do to them? Well, not even the world, but the state of Florida. Like, I just don't understand it, you know? But, um, you know, I have a plan, you know? And I'm a young girl. Um, and when I heard this story, it's like, ever since I've heard it, I've been tweeting and doing all I can, I've um, wrote a letter, and I've just been basically thinking, that's, you know, thoughts, because I want to reach out to the family, I want to join the team, I want to join the movement, the protesting and everything, I want to be a, pro a part of all of that, um, you know, it's just never easy to deal with, you know, losing someone who didn't bother no one on the anything. honor roll, didn't do anything to that man, and for the fact that his murderer is out free, I mean, literally, Zimmerman, how can you sleep at no night? Kill someone. How do you wake up? How do you take a bath? How do you do these things that you would normally do knowing that you took someone away from their family, knowing that you took someone away from this world, knowing that you took somebody's life and they will never, ever, ever be able to experience life again. Like they're gone for How do you feel about that? What if it was your brother? What if it was your sister, your mom? What if it was anyone in your family, any of your loved ones? How would you feel if someone did that to you? Wouldn't you want justice for yourself? How do you think that boy felt having to beg for his life? That's just really messed up. Like, no one should have to beg for their life if they weren't doing anything. Exactly. He can't have an iced tea and some Skittles. That's making really me afraid, scared. and I'm really afraid to go to go and buy iced tea and Skittles because I love Skittles and I love iced tea. So now I'm afraid to drink them because I think someone is going to try to kill me because I have a hoodie on. I mean, if it was raining, I probably would have... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. But I probably would have had a hoodie on too. Exactly. Who wouldn't have a hoodie on? Anybody in their right mind and then would the have a hoodie on. The police blatantly said, don't follow him. Why would he go and follow him anyway? Exactly. I don't understand it. And all I have to say is, I respect everyone. I don't care if you're white, black, Mexican, Chinese, whatever. I don't care. Because I love everyone. The same. God made us equal. I don't have no problem with any race. You know, and I, I think every race that is being respectful and not being ignorant. Because I've seen some very, very dirty and messed up comments on here about this boy calling him the N-word and etc. It's so messed up. It's just up. really messed up because I am African American and I don't even use the N-word like that, honestly. You know, I'm not even going to try to play an innocent role. I mean, I've used the word, but I'm not going to use it, you know, all just, the time. Just repeatedly. No. Exactly, no. So, you know, um, basically, I just, I'm going to leave my Twitter name, and I just hope that you guys could follow me. And I'm going to continue to make videos, but tomorrow I'm going to really make a real video once I get my phone checked up. And um, just please, please leave your feedback. I just want to really kind of build my own type of, I don't know what I want to call it, but I, I want to join their movement. But I just, 
I just feel like there has to be some type of stronger effect. There has to be someone like Obama or someone who can have authority to lock this man up before he flees, yes. before he gets away. There's a boy killed, hasn't even seen 18 yet. I think and that's why people and that's why people wonder why African American men are stereotyped. Look at look at what people what people do. You know, life is too short for all of this crap. Life is too short to just be living it like this because there's a consequence for everything you do. Karma is real, and people need to believe that. So whether or not he doesn't get prosecuted or arrested, I know that God has something planned for him, and I know that God doesn't like ugly, and I know that in the end, he is in a better place now, but that was still not fixed. That missing place in his mother and his father's heart and his family's heart too i mean like i don't even know him but i feel like I've, I've never met this boy in my life but if you read my twitter and i'm gonna leave my um twitter name below I, it's just been non-stop about him i can't stop thinking about him it's 11 something a night and i can't go to sleep you know trayvon you are on my mind and his family is in my prayers praying, 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 praying hoping for justice, but I have faith that God will bless us with justice, and, and, you know, I'm gonna feel okay for Once the family, that guy is riding in jail. but it's still not gonna bring that place, you know, in the heart, but I just know that once justice is served, it will be a better feeling. At least he's not gonna be riding the streets, like, killing, killing other else. people, because this is not his first, and this is not his only. Exactly, so, I just want everyone to just you know, uplift each other, man. You know, just please well, come together change? as one. Unite. Love each other. We are all equal. It doesn't matter the color of our skin. Please, people have to really, really stop all of this nonsense. But but no one will ever listen. I mean, I'm just a girl. No one's going to listen to me But once again, rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. God bless your soul. God bless your family. Prayers are with you all. And just please, please get this man off the streets. We love you.